OK, in this video, I'm going to solve sine x equals 1 half. And we're going to do it in degrees and then radians. So you can see exactly how this changes. So, first of all, sine x equals a half between 0 and 360 degrees. OK, you can tell whether you need to be in degrees or radians depending on the domain that you're looking at, okay, which range of values we are solving it between. So, sine x equals one half. In order to get x, I need to use the inverse sine function on my calculator. Now, you can write this in one of two ways. You can either write this as inverse sine of a half, like this, sine minus one, half. Okay? Now that tallies up with what you get on your calculator. Okay? But there is also another way of writing it, and that is arc sine of a half. Okay? Um, both of these versions are commonly used. Okay? So you need to be aware of both of them. They mean exactly the same thing. Okay? So arc sine x um, in degrees, so we're going to do inverse sine on your calculator. You, you need to press shift, then sine, and then one half, and you should get 30. Okay, so this is 30 degrees. Now, that's not the end of this problem. Okay, we then sketch sine x, y equals sine x. Okay, here's sine x. And that's going between 0 and 360 degrees. There's 180. OK. Now, we're going to look at y equals 1 half. Now, we know that the curve goes between minus 1 and 1. So a half would be about there. OK, so we put in a dotted line. And we can see that that line, that half line, crosses the curve there and there. This point is the 30 degrees. OK? Now, what you need to know about is how we work with the symmetry of the curve. Because if this distance between 0 and 30, if that distance is 30 degrees, then because that is a midpoint, and this is kind of, you could reflect that bit of the curve between 0 and 180, that distance is exactly the same distance as that. So we can find this second value by doing 180, take away the 30 degrees, that distance, and that will get us 150 degrees. And so we actually have two solutions between 0 and 360 degrees. One of them is 30 degrees, and the other is 150 degrees. OK? And we sometimes like to write our answers in nice curly brackets like that. And that's how we can do it for this, this simple problem. So when we do it in radians, everything is exactly the same for the most part. Okay? We're doing exactly the same process. Inverse sine of a half is arc sine of one half. Okay? Generally, we wouldn't bother writing both down, but I'm just trying to reinforce the point that they're the same. Okay? Now, we need to turn our calculator into radians, so we need to go to Shift and then Mode, and that'll bring up a whole list of functions. We want number four, rad. So now we can do inverse sine of one half, and our calculator should give us one sixth pi, okay? Or pi over six. We then sketch the curve. Okay, there's sine x. OK, so that would be pi. That is 2 pi. And we draw in our half line. There's 1 half. It's crossing the curve there and there, so there are two solutions. This one corresponds with pi over 6. So that distance is pi over 6, because it's going from 0 to pi over 6. And so that distance is exactly the same as that one. So this one must be pi take away pi over 6, which is 5 pi over 6. And so there are two solutions in radians, pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6.
okay? And it is important you know whether you're working in radians or degrees, okay? Because clearly it changes the solutions.